Hey, what's going on everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And today I'm stoked to show you about a new enclosure that we have that is for SLA and resin printers. It's actually an update and it's going to have a lot of new, sweet new features over our last one. You guys got to see this. Check this out. Okay, so uh, for our uh, resin and 3D printer DLP um, 3D printer lineup, of enclosures we actually make these in a couple different sizes and uh, what we have here is we have uh, the version one uh, which we still have available and is still handy sometimes and then uh, version two which is the new version and uh, as you can see on uh, version two we've got this done up in amber orange acrylic which is one of the options so uh, as far as the material options uh, we offer these in regular clear acrylic polycarbonate, which is uh, more chemical resistant, and then we also have this amber orange acrylic. So uh, the reasons that you would pick each one, uh, the clear acrylic is kind of more cost effective, and actually I think it has a real nice feel to it for the acrylic in general. Um, the polycarbonate is good, uh, say if you're using it for like wash and cure station, or if you're using a lot of uh, IPA around your print station, then polycarbonate is more chemical resistant. The amber orange acrylic, the advantage to this is it's uh, UV blocking. And so with this, this actually blocks over 99%. It's spectrometer tested to block over 99% of the UV rays that uh, your resin reacts to. So uh, this is uh, definitely a functional piece uh, for uh, especially uh, for people that are printing in print the, like high volume professional print environments and uh, is a nice add-on. So um, the one thing that we did for between version one and version two is that uh, we really kind of listened to what our customers needed and, uh, and, and kind of adapted some, some a really main nice add-on. And the, the main thing is uh, the, the the door system. So with the uh, version one, uh, this has, uh, you know, just a nice inset door. And uh, however, it was really limited on access uh, for those that still wanted to use the lid of their printer. So if you're not really using the lid of your printer, then this is actually still really functional. Uh, however, what we did with this one is we deleted kind of the, the whole framing. So you get uh, a, taller access to the printer now. And then additionally, we also added in a flip up lid up on top. So now you get really, really nice full access to, uh, to, to your 3D printer. And uh, so it makes it so that you can really lift off the lid uh, without, uh, without uh, interference and without uh, you know, banging up against the top of the enclosure and stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> to give you some reference, um, these, both of these enclosures are, are medium size. I've got a pretty small uh, resin 3D printer in there. It's the Anycubic Photon Zero, which is uh, amongst the smallest. And so we do make these in a few different sizes. Uh, we make a small, which would actually probably fit uh, something like a Photon Zero. Um, and uh, the medium is going to fit the widest variety of 3D printers. The large is actually the same width and depth, but then it's a little bit taller. I think it's, uh, the, this one is 23 and a half inches for the medium. The tall is, I think, 28 and a half. And we actually make an XL for some of the really, really big uh, uh, SLA 3D printers that are out these days. So um, some options that we have uh, for... Uh, for other attachments is uh, we've got a fan and filter option as well. So on this one, I have our HEPA and carbon filter uh, attachment on this one. And with, it, with this, it basically, the way that it attaches, there's a, there's a hole that is right up on the back. So this is key for anyone that is kind of concerned about uh, the smells, uh, the cleanliness of their 3D printing station. So with uh, HEPA, it's good for particulate, and the this HEPA filter has uh, charcoal built into the filter, to, and that will help kind of take 
care of some of the, the fumes and the smells. However, uh, the only way that you can actually guarantee that you're getting rid of all of the fumes and smells is to actually exhaust out of the room, probably out like a window uh, or, or doorway. And so this actually can turn into, if you take off this cap, it's uh, you can just take this cap right off and then this will actually fit onto a four inch exhaust hose that you can uh, that, that you can push out a window or if you already have your own exhaust system then this is actually what's the, the, the part that is underneath the cap there and this uh, can just directly mount on there so if you already have your own exhaust system you can get it with just this uh, just this cap so the three options that I have you can do the cap you can do the exhaust the, the filter system or you can get the uh, the fan that we the fan set up here without the filter and just the fan to connect up to your uh, uh, to your exhaust hose. So uh, if you do just the bracket, then that assumes that you have your own exhaust fan or way to get the, the air out. So uh, just some other options. Uh, we, we built in nice rubber grommets on the back side here to uh, ensure that you can uh, lead your wires in and out. And um, again, we've got these in a couple different sizes, and I think these are a great add-on for you know, just about anyone's resin 3D printer setup. So I think it's also pretty uh, important to note why we would even want to have an enclosure anyway. So there's three main reasons. A, the first one is get a nice, clean, isolated environment for better 3D printer performance. So having an enclosure will reduce dust around your machine and around your 3D prints, and especially with uh, resin printing, you want a nice dust-free environment. So the enclosure kind of keeps dust from your, from your work environment from getting inside, especially if you have pets and stuff like that. This is an absolute must-have. So I also wanted to touch on the quality that we put into our enclosures. So what we're going for with our enclosures is a professional, commercial-grade uh, level of enclosure and so with that said uh, we use commercial grade acrylics we cnc cut or laser cut all of our panels uh, and so they're machined for precision uh, especially on our acrylics in particular these are all laser cut so that uh, like for example on this door you have essentially zero curve between the door and the panel and uh, also between the, the panels, all, all of those seams are very tight so that you get less dust in and out of the enclosure and then uh, less uh, smells and fumes coming in and out of the enclosure too. So when you actually check out with these enclosures on our website, we actually have set up a whole bunch of options. So you can really kind of spec your build, if that kind of makes sense. And uh, so, it, We've got, based on your needs, we can do different attachments to get the, uh, the, the function that you need out of the enclosure, or if you're on a budget, then you can control the budget that you're uh, going to use for this enclosure as well. So that's our new SLA and resin 3D printer enclosure. Um, you know, we have been making these 3D printer enclosures for uh, about three years now. And uh, we started with just one 3D printer here in our shop. And we're a small business here in Sacramento, California. And, uh, and we really are appreciative of the 3D printing scene that's, uh, that, that, that we've been able to uh, kind of get in with and, and to service. And so with that said, we're appreciative people. And uh, we work hard to make sure that we build really nice quality equipment for 3D printing. So we make a, enclosures for a wide variety of different 3D printers, both SLA and FDM. And then we also actually make enclosures for uh, laser engravers as well. So if you do any of that inside of your uh, kind of maker space, then we actually offer some really great uh, enclosures for that as well. Uh, also, we've worked with a multitude of awesome institutions uh, from uh, the, from large universities like University of California, Santa Cruz, MIT, uh, Texas A&M, um, and several others. We've also worked with uh, uh, big tech companies like Lucid Motors, um, uh, Toyota, 
And then we've also worked with a multitude of defense contractors and uh, aerospace uh, companies in an effort to kind of give these guys uh, clean and safe working environments. That's the, that, that's the idea behind these enclosures. So if you'd like to uh, learn more about our line of enclosures, head on over to our website. It's Clearview Plastic. Plastic is singular. Dot com, clearviewplastic.com, or uh, you can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, um, and most of the other social medias as well, including YouTube. So thanks for listening in, guys, and I hope to see you around. Peace.